the process of teaching music is so different online, especially when you're teaching music to a, a, a group of 40 people. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but you can't, because of uh, the latency, the lag involved in uh, using Zoom, we can't all sing together. Everybody has to mute except for one person uh, when you're doing music together. What that meant for us is that I had to, for the chorus numbers, teach it to them and not hear them singing. They couldn't hear each other singing. I couldn't hear them singing. So there were, because there's so much music to teach and there's so many of them to teach, you know, it was weeks and months before I actually heard them singing, even though we were singing these songs together, you know, multiple times a week. Uh, I remember the time that we did actually, I think it was sometime in December, right? I mean, it was a couple months into it, was the first time that I had them submit recordings and I edited them together and played them for, for them. And seeing their faces genuinely like react with smiles and um, real genuine emotion. I don't want, I, I'm not sure that I saw tears, but I almost teared up because it was really meaningful to just see them like gasp and excitement to, to, for this thing that we would normally take for granted and have on the first day, right? That singing together. Uh, I was also impressed with how seriously they took it uh, because if you wanted to in that situation, you could really, you know, not learn anything and just slide by. But I was so impressed that when I listened to the recordings uh, that, that they submitted, and then when they came in uh, or sent their final recordings at the very end of it, they were, they were spot on. Clearly they had been paying attention the whole time and, and had been um, really professional about the whole process. So that was, that was really a delight. Uh, for the singing, it was all recorded on audio, and then uh, it was separately lip-synced. Uh, that was for a variety of technical and safety reasons that we did it that way. But that's the way that you would see it in any Hollywood musical or any filmed musical uh, anyway. So the way that we decided to do it uh, for the sake of sound quality and actually because it was easier to do it this way was to bring uh, the majority of, um, I would say maybe 60 to 70 percent of the kids uh, to record in person. Uh, it was easier to do it that way than to the headache of having them submit it and um, having to have them retake it. We got a professional sound engineer. We got a good setup. Uh, we were incredibly safe and you know, we just came came in, said record this, record this, record this, very, um, you know, and quickly got through uh, all of the students. We did, we tried to do it a couple different ways. The first way that we tried to do it was outside, which was a brilliant idea from a uh, COVID safety standpoint and was a horrendous idea from a, uh, of uh, trying to keep it totally quiet like you would in a studio. I found what I thought was going to be like the quietest place. We did it on a, a weekend and even then with you know very directional mics that would only pick up the student's voice and not everything around, you still heard sirens and street noise and birds and people walking their dogs and kids screaming in the background and just every little thing that you could possibly imagine. Uh, we were able to isolate the audio. Uh, and so, you know, if you had heard, when you hear the final version, you won't necessarily hear that because of a lot of filters. Uh, but for the subsequent recordings, we decided to record it at Minnesota Street Project uh, indoors, except with all of the windows open and with an air filter and uh, everybody was masked and the kids were masked until the second they sung and then their mask was back on. Mm -hmm. uh, it was real, I mean, it was inspiring uh, to get to see these, to, to see them in person. It was really meaningful to me because some of them I've never met before, right? I feel like we've all of us, all of the teachers have developed a relationship with these students uh, as young artists, but I would look at them and say, oh, I've never like met you in person, have I? Right, I feel like I know you, but uh, they were all so uh, professional, ready to go when they got there in person, and they really nailed their parts too. So it was, it, it was a special part of the recording process for me. But deep down in my heart, one thought will abide 
and will ne'er be forgotten though i search far and wide there is no land at right.